One priority item this special session is the lack of safe places to stay for children in the state's foster care system. KXAN investigator Avery Travis has more on why Governor Abbott is calling for a closer look at how to recruit qualified foster families and providers. How terrible would it be to feel all alone. Senator Jose Menendez of San Antonio says he was shocked to learn of the more than 200 kids sleeping in state offices and hotels. As an adult, it would be terrible. Can you imagine as a child? During the regular session, lawmakers passed legislation saying no children were allowed to sleep in state offices. But without any funding behind it, advocates say it isn't enough. They just deserve a little bit more money than what they get. And while Sally Fussell with Austin-based Safe Alliance says the foster families they work with aren't in it for the money. It embarrasses me to tell people what the payment is. Right now, the state pays foster families anywhere from $300 a month to around 1000 depending on the level of specialized care the child needs. For residential treatment facilities housing kids, those payments can be anywhere from $500 to more than $3,000 a month. That is on par or even above certain rates posted for nearby states like New Mexico and Oklahoma. But Menendez says he's hearing that it's specialized care for kids with trauma that's costing families and treatment centers more. A counseling therapy, mental health uh, services. So he and other lawmakers wrote letters to the governor and the governor responded, noting legislators could consider appropriating money from the general revenue fund to foster care providers. Investing in Texas children is a down payment on the future of Texas. Avery Travis, KXAN Investigates. The SAFE Alliance tells us they think the state's capacity crisis will take more than just money to fix. They hope legislators focus on trauma, informed care for kids, and ways to reduce bureaucratic barriers in the system. The lack of space could force Texas foster care officials to send children to other states. Another state lawmaker from San Antonio, Representative Ina Menades, told Avery that the state may be considering sending children to states like New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Arkansas so they can have a bed to sleep in. Menades said she would like to address this in the special session once she knows more. One thing to keep in mind, all of this is happening as children continue to enter the foster care system in the United States at a younger age. The latest numbers are pre-pandemic, but they show the median age for a child entering foster care is six. That's a whole year younger than a decade before. And children staying for shorter periods of time is also dropping. Those who stayed less than a month dropped by about 5% over the past decade. At the same time, the number of children being fostered for a year up to three years has risen.